What do I mean that marketing and advertising are not the same thing? Aren't they identical? We'll unearth the answer right after this. Hi, I'm Doug Barra, and in this episode of Business Success, we explore the differences between marketing and advertising. First, however, please take a moment and like this video. I am committed that all business owners get the opportunity to take advantage of the teachings that I'm doing on a regular basis. And one of the ways that can happen is if you help. By clicking like, you are letting the algorithm gods know that this video is relevant and important so that they will show it to more people. Thanks. Do you think that marketing and advertising are the same thing? It is a common misconception that business owners often don't realize they have. It's easy to box the two together since advertising is a significant part of marketing. However, marketing is much more than just advertising. So if marketing is not just advertising, what is it? Marketing involves every interaction your business has with potential customers. And I do mean every interaction. How your phone is answered, how your team members talk about the company with their friends, even how your family talks about your company. What? Come on, Doug. How my family talks about the company? How is that relevant? Well, what if your children talk about how your business consumes your life so that you don't have time for them? Do you think that puts your business in a good light with the people they say that to? What about if your team members are complaining about you, or worse yet, your customers outside of the office? Do you think people that hear that will be recommending your business? How about your first impressions? When someone first interacts with your business is a critical point in the relationship. Are they left feeling welcomed and valued? How about your current customers? How do they talk about your business? Remember, people buy from people that they know, like, and trust. Many times that means the people that were referred by their friends or other people that they trust. If your customers are not talking about how great you are, that impacts your marketing. An effective marketing strategy for your business requires paying attention to every interaction you have with your customers, even the ones you don't think matter. Actually, especially the ones you don't think matter. That will ensure that those customers keep coming back and buying your products or services, and that is one of the top business growth strategies you can adopt. What marketing actions can you take right now that go beyond your current advertising? How can you positively impact your relationship with your customers and prospects? Leave me a comment to let me know. Now, would you like to experience the freedom of business ownership? What if you could have your business create more wealth for you without having to devote more of your time? This is what's available when you build a solid foundation for your business. I have created this resource to show you the roadmap to that kind of business success. I call it the Insider's Guide to Success in Business, and you can download your free copy by clicking the link below this video or by visiting Insider's Guide to Success in Business.com. Remember, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And be sure to click the bell for all notifications so you don't miss a single episode. Once again, I'm Doug Barra, and now it's your turn. Click the link, download your free guide, take your business to the next level, and I'll see you in our next video.